I'm here. Okay, first I gotta say, there's no script for this video. Because I made this world at 3am. And I'm recording it at 2pm. So, I don't care what you think. I'll try to go everything I made. So first you can make a hoe. Which just turns grass and dirt into things you can place your plants on with seeds. And you can make a hoe with these materials and in this arrangement. A lot of things I see people make mistakes about is how you place your water and where you you put the weird grass thing. A lot of people do it in this arrangement where there's one ray, one row of dirt and one row of water. This is actually really, really bad because a single water source can reach up to four blocks away. So at maximum efficiency, one one source of water can make a 9x9. Nine nine. So I'm going on to sugar canes, which can grow adjacent to a water source, no farther, no diagonal. And they can grow on sand or dirt. You can find these near rivers a lot. There's also cactus. They don't need to be close to a water source. And they grow only on sand. The melons and pumpkins, these are pretty complicated. The, they can regrow, so you don't have to replant them. You only have to break the melons or pumpkins. You can break the fully grown plants for extra seeds if you want, but that's pretty inefficient. These, they grow only on top of another grass or dirt block. And they can grow in any direction as long as there's grass or dirt block on there. And then you have these sweet berries, which are pretty useless. So you find these in forests and you only use them to tame foxes. They are a really bad food source. These are all the plants you can grow on this kind of dirt. You have the two pumpkins and melons. You have wheat, beetroot, carrot, and potatoes. Now I'll go into enchantments. So for enchantments, you have the normal three. You have unbreaking, mending, and you also have efficiency. Efficiency can be used for breaking leaves, which can either give you normal leaves, which if you, if you put silk touch on it, or if you put fortune. Fortune on a hoe, you can use it to harvest crops, which will multiply the crop yield, or you can use it to mine leaves for extra apples. I'll go over the ones you can fortune right now. So, the ones you can't fortune, oh yeah, there's also nether wart, which grows on soul sand. You can grow... You can't fortune cactuses, nether warts, wheat, pumpkins, or sugar canes. But you can fortune carrot, beetroot, potatoes, and pumpkins. The thing about pumpkins, or not pumpkins, melons. The thing about melons is that if you fortune them, you, you don't get more. But there's a higher chance you get up to a 9. The max yield you get is 9. With or without the fortune. But fortune increases the chance of getting 9. Now going to animals. You can breed the cows or lead them with the wheat, the pigs with carrots, and the sheep with the wheat. Now I'll go over farming layouts. So you have a pumpkin farm or a melon farm where you can place the water four aside and eight apart. And you can put them in this arrangement where you can just mine them while you walk. This is pretty useful as they grow in the same spot and you don't have to you don't have to move them anywhere. You also have sugar canes, which are which a lot of people don't know how to make. Well I make my sugar cane farms or the most efficient way is with this water arrangement. You can see right here. And in the empty spots in between, you can place on a torch so that things like skeletons or zombies don't spawn in there. As they'll be pretty hard to kill since they're inside the sugar cane. And the normal grass, you can just put them as a 9x9, nine nine, but the same thing. Okay. I've gone over most of the basics. If I left anything out, oh, too bad. Go search up on your own.